Hello everyone, um, this is Lorenzo. Um, some of you may know me as Yo Mama, and some of you may know me as Leiza01. Today I'm going to be playing through my SCP modification, SCP Terror Hunt. I'm going to be doing a bit of commentary on it. And I'm doing this because Terror Hunt's development is pretty much over. So I feel like I should just do this one last thing to kind of send it off on its way and um, speak about things that some of you may not know. Um, if I can get any of the other other developers who worked on 4.0 to, to 4.4 in here at some point, uh, they will definitely be joining. But I don't. I, I think it'll just be me. Um, I'm going off of no script, so my speech may be slurred or. Um, messy, disorganized, uh, grammatically wrong, all of that kind of stuff uh, will probably be present. Um, throughout either this video or videos, I don't know if I'll do um, one big video or if I'll do several parts. I might just do 20 minute videos um, depending on how long it takes for me to, to beat the game. Um, so the time is 8.24 right now. So I'll, I'll I'll stop at 8:44 if I'm if I'm still digging it after playing for the, all that time. Um, I'm gonna be playing at 150 gamma so you guys can see the game. Um, I, I I always leave all of these uh, graphic options off to uh, to kind of help with the frame rate. 90 uh, field of view because. Normal, normal field of view, which is uh, 74, for some reason it gives me a, a headache. I get a uh, motion sickness from it, so 90 FOV, I'll be playing at that. Um, volume for uh, music and sound, I'll keep kind of low. Uh, everything else, uh, pretty much the same. So, I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to play on safe mode. What some of you may not know is that... In normal container breach Euclid mode, um, you can only save at monitors. Um, Euclid mode in this mode, or I, I mean, I mean in this mod, you can save anywhere. Um, but I'm I'm just gonna keep it on safe, and we'll just name it save one. And uh, yeah, so we are in, and our frame rate is okay. Um, like I like um, most of you probably know, frame rate in this mod is not fantastic. Um, and if you start getting really low frames, um, it's recommended that you just save your game, quit to the menu, and then reload your save. And that should help with the frames for at least a, a little bit. I, 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 I. There's there's something inside of me that makes me question if leaving 178 in the intro was a good idea, because, I mean, oh, shitting, fuck, I didn't expect them to be right there, I mean, it's a cool item, but, I don't know, it doesn't really do anything, I, some of you may question why, um, the 178 specimens use, um, the, the old box of horror models instead of the new ultimate edition ones and that's just because um the the ultimate edition models have a lot of faces while these are kind of simple so i don't know i i feel like it was best to just leave it kind of simple just because one it isn't really an important scp and two frame rate is already not that good in this mod so it, you know so, some of you, er, no, 860 wasn't in any versions of 4.0. This used to be an 860 containment chamber. It used to be a, a containment chamber similar to, um, 178's, where it's a room like this, you know, there's a little label. Uh, the label was, like, on, like, on this wall, and then it was a little room here with, like, a little box, and you could get 860. However... Um, 860 is just such a shit SCP, and I fucking hate its, um, role in Containment Breach. So, it's just a storage room now. And, I mean, there's nothing in here. Um. I- Fuck. 
SCP-6969 Easter egg. That's a funny little thing by uh, our developer, or my developer, Kit Rod. Um, Kit Rod is the guy who made all the, the rooms for this um, uh, game. Mod. That's the word. Fuck. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Uh, okay, let's just call the elevator up. Usually 173 spawns in this elevator, and I don't know why. Because he's not coded to. I, I wonder if he'll do it. Yeah, I don't know why he does that. It's really weird. So, as you may have noticed, 173's model is very different. Um, it was made by... Uh, I'm opening console just so I can pause the game, but also while having a, a clear image of 173 so you guys can look at it. This model was made by the, the, the developer in our server... I'm just trying to remember the numbers, because it's like I, N, E, something, like a bunch of numbers. Uh, where is he? I can't find him. Did he leave the server? I want to be shocked. My server is very dead. Um, I, N, E, 83. He, uh, he was able to make this model for us, and I really like how it came out. Um, if I can find the picture that this model was inspired off of, uh, it should be on the screen now. And there were a few variations of this model before we decided on this one to use in the in the mod. I, I, I voted on this version of the model because the other versions didn't really have anything that said 173, you know, about them. But this one, you, I, I, the, the way it's colored in the eyes, it, it, it feels like a 173 variation, so... You know, it's, this is what we decided on, and I think it came out really well, and, um... Shit, fuck, ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. Okay. Hi. Okay. So, there's a certain issue with Terra Hunt, and that's how this mod pretty much got no attention once 4.0 was released. And I think I can point myself to that because I, through versions 1.0 to 3.1, I, I, I added a thing that was a reference to FNAF mod, it was, the, it was the pornographic storage room. I don't know why I added that. I, I really don't know why. I don't know why I thought it'd be funny. It's just stupid, gross, and inappropriate. And I think I can blame that on why this mod is kind of failing, because those old versions kind of have like a bad taste to them. You know, it's not in 4.0 through 4.4, but I, I can't pl blame people from being turned away from it be because of that, you know, previous incident. Um, I don't know. It's it's very embarrassing that I that I would add something like that, but it's too late now. But I'm, I'm very upset because Kit Rod and C45, IN83, or, or uh, IN83, we all put in Slender... We all put a lot of work into this version of the mod, or these, you know, final versions. And it can, and I, I, I am proud of the work that was put into it, you know. Um, much more proud of the work put into these versions than, I, than I, the, the uh, feelings I had towards FNAF mod. I, I very much do regret FNAF mod, but at the same time I get that it was just kind of a joke mod um, that I made. But, I don't know. I, I am happy that most people were able to find out how to... Uh, beat this um, without really needing like assistance. Um, I, ooh, I could just no. I, I do I skip light containment? Is that something I want to do? I might. I might do that. I don't know. Um, fuck. Do I want to skip light containment? I don't know if I want to skip light containment or not. I'll I'll hold off on that for now. There were a lot of plans for uh, future versions of this mod, um, you know, 4.5 and 5.0. Uh, however, um, okay. however, you know, this mod, you know, died out as most of you know. There was a plan to make this SDP a little bit more interesting because this is pretty much a you open this and you die kind of thing. I had a plan originally to make it so that it's like a 50-50 chance on what happens when you open that. So it would either be 689 actually is in there, or, um, 
it would be like a useful item that would spawn in there. Um, but that never happened. That that um, you know, there, there there's a lot of things on finishing this mod, like the lag problem. But yeah, I don't think working on this mod would really be worth it, just because this mod, like I said, 50 times before it died out. Um, I think I yeah, I think I want some of these here. Hi, buddy. How you doing? I'm just gonna go through here. Okay. Oh, zombie. Okay. I'm not good with speaking, so I'm already feeling like I'm running out of things to say. I came into this video with a lot of things on my mind and things that I wanted to kind of talk about, but I'm kind of losing it. Um, oh, it's this guy. So if you don't know, this guy is the same guy who wrote these notes for you. I'm sure everybody was able to pick up on that, but... Neat little thing, I guess. I guess it's a neat little little tidbit or something. There used to be a version of this room that had, um... What's it called? 038 actually visible through these windows. Um, but I, I concocted a theory that... Um, no, fuck. I concocted- Fuck, I forgot to grab the wallet. I'm an idiot. I concocted a theory that props would cause lag. I don't know how true that is, but uh, I decided to play the safe bet. I'm going back for the wallet so I can show off a cool little thing that some people may not even know. Yes, okay. So, what some of you may not know is that I actually fixed the wallet. So you can actually put small SCPs into it. Because for some reason, in Container Breach, you couldn't put things like the pills or the, the ring in, in the wallet. I don't know why you couldn't. But I made it so that you can actually do that. Thank fucking god. My frames are just going downhill. How am I alive? How am I alive? It's over now, though. How did I live? How did I survive that? What happened? I'm just trying to find 099 right now so I can get the, the level 1. Which I am having a hard time with accomplishing. I cannot find this game. Ooh. This SCP scared a lot of people. Like, really bad. That thing scared people really badly. Um... That's supposed to be 280, and he doesn't kill you, which I, I, I know is not really a lore-accurate thing. However, that would be pretty unfair if he just killed you. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Gas mask doesn't take up a lot of vision, and I get that in the camera breach, it took up a lot of vision to kind of balance the game. Uh, and, like, balance the fact that you could literally get... You, you can get infinite stamina. However... I like being able to see. <gasps> we found it. Okay. Some somebody was complaining about um, 099 being a little hard to get around. Um, I have this neat trick that I'm pretty sure most people could have figured out. See that? You just walk around it. Fuck! I didn't mean that. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. God, yeah, this room causes some serious lag. I don't know why. That It's not even, like, the biggest room in the mod. In fact, it's, like, one of the smaller ones. R uh, 1026's room causes some pretty bad lag. I will say that. Um, but I don't know why room for storage. Or, yeah, that's where there's room for storage. I don't know why that causes so much game lag. It's really weird. I like these little ceilings Kit Rod made. They're cool. Thank you, Kit Rod, for it. For making this game actually, like, like, making it so that I can actually look at things without wanting to fucking shit myself. Do you guys like how subtle, uh, the game notifies you to let you know that there's a hand down there? Um, I think it's pretty subtle. Um, let's start with the, the fact that this whole event is, like, not even, like, what it was supposed to be. So, originally, um... I feel like I have to burp again. Okay. I'm good. So originally, 
SCP-575 was supposed to be down here. And how the event was supposed to go was... Uh, there was a room like this that I think I deleted. Like, not, not de like a room that I deleted, but like a section to this room. Um, that had a bunch of switches, and this whole room was supposed to be, like, pitch dark, basically. You know, and this light was here because there was going to be text on the wall that says stay in the light, and, like, this light would shine that up, but whatever. Um, and you would have to find the switches and flip them on before 575 killed you. Um, and Slender, our coder, was supposed to, or not our coder, but the guy who was originally going to be our coder for the later versions, he was going to code it, and he realized some problems with it, and we didn't end up going through with it, so we kept 457. And this room used to be a lot bigger. This used to be, a, like, a door right here, and, like, there was going to be, like, a door right here, and it was a whole other giant section to this whole place. Like, it was big. This It was, like, double the size of what this room is now. Um, but I deleted those areas just so just to save some kind of, like, memory issues or whatever. I don't fucking know how this works. Hi. Okay. Let's get this. I just screwed myself. What am I doing? What am I doing? Haha. -ha. Okay. Shit. That was it. Why are these both- why didn't I make that a normal syringe so you can run past them? Am I an idiot? I probably should have put waypoints down here so that 457 could wander around. However, I was too lazy to do that. And I was already losing, um, motivation on this mod. So, you know. Either that, or I could skip light containment and go to heavy and save some time. Uh, however... Why is the elevator so loud? Why is the game- oh my god! Watch this. Watch this, okay? Watch. The frames are gonna be perfect after this. Look at that. Look at that. We're back to, like, 60. I don't know why that happens. I, I guess the game just, like, doesn't unload something properly. I don't know. 650? I don't feel like spawning him. Uh... Terry! Holy shit, Terry. Oh, what a good moment in my life. Please. Oh my god, Joseph. So, yeah, so, I'll use cheats here. I'm just gonna use cheats here. So, I'm sure everyone knows the Joseph Easter egg, where if you click him, it closes your game and it sends you to the YouTube thing. Joseph's just a funny thing that me and C45 concocted. We made up his whole story, you know, in like one sitting, and we thought it'd be funny to have that sort of creepy Easter egg. Um, the, the lore I wrote for him is that he's connected to 087V. Um, oh! That was creepy. Holy shit. Okay. Hi. Just fall into the puddle, buddy. Just, just go in. Okay. We're, we're fine. I think I can open this with a little bit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What is it here? Small first aid kit. I will take it. Oh! Okay. We're here. We found it. We found it. What some of you may not know is that, you know, because if you get near this SP and you stay by it, it hurts you, whatever, and it kills you eventually, right? Very similar to 012, which, you know, this room actually was the replacement for 012. Um, but what some of you may not know is that the first two stages of this thing affecting you actually help you. So let's say you have an infection or I, it, crystallization got removed, um, but, you know, if I kept that, all the infection type Th and uh, things and da like bleeding whatever if you st stand by this thing for the first two stages and get out before the third starts it actually heals you so this thing is actually beneficial if you use it correctly um but like i said you have to use it correctly and the phases come and go like really fast so yeah make sure you just don't stay in there for too long if you really need to use this thing but by the time you've come across this guy you should have med kits, so you should be fine. Okay, so... Fun fact, um, that... Okay. Fun fact, the music that's used for all this uh, in that is actually, um, the music that's used in the series, which is where 407 appears, um, also, it's uh, confinement is what gave me the inspiration to put in this. 
the lore behind 407 in this mod is that because if you if you read SCP-407's um, story, uh, you'll know that 407 got destroyed um, by Serpent's hand. I'm pretty sure. Um, so you know it shouldn't even be in this, but the lore behind it in this is that um, it was able to be re-recorded from a test log. Um, which, uh, what's it called? It was able to be re-recorded from a test log, which, I don't remember where the surveillance room is, which, you know, they were able to turn into an actual, you know, functioning version of the SCP. Um, now, why would they do that? I don't know, but they did it. Um, it's here. I just really don't want to spawn 049. Like, I really don't want to do that, because 049 is so broken. Like, I, I, I might as well, I guess, I, okay, yeah, I, I don't know why I thought I needed level two, I was questioning what I, what, the problem, the mistake I just made, I can't speak, six, five, seven, one, okay, I guess we'll just spawn him, there, it's too late, we have to deal with him, I, I, I ruined the, the opportunity I had to not have to deal with them, but he's here. He he's here. He does, you know, function like normal now. Though he doesn't. Um, uh, what's it called? Do the sprint thing that he used to do. So you know, that's good. Can I hide from him back here? It's a really bad idea. I should. <laughs> okay. So. Oh yeah. What some of you may not know. Two things actually. One. His old his achievement icon is actually the old icon that was originally going to be used in Box of Horrors when they were adding achievements, and two, um, his eyes are blue, which I think is really nice. Um, and also, two other things, that's his Ultimate Edition model with uh, the textures from uh, Cater Classes. Um, his mod, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, he's coming closer. I should probably run. Just follow me, and then yoink! Okay. Fuck. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't good at all. But let's get to level three. Put it in there. And then let's get our level four. And yeah, no, I don't know where 914 is. Um, check. Where is it? Uh, okay. This 914 by Kidrod is absolutely stunning. I think Kidrod did a wonderful job with this one. Kidrod did a wonderful job. This is so loud. My volume is at 30. Right? Did it change? It's it's at... Why did the music go back to 50? Whatever. It's just... There. There we go. Okay. It's at 25. And that is the, like the loudest thing ever. Why is he here? But yeah, no, Kid Rod did a wonderful job in this room, and I just wish 9-1, or not 9 wasn't ruining this moment, but he is, so, whatever. Um, Kit Rod had this idea of dark mode S-Nav, and I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, so let's just put this on fine, this on fine, this on fine, and this on fine. And that should pretty much have a soap. Why is not 106 spawn? That's... I'm actually kind of... When is he supposed to spawn? I don't... I don't know how long it usually takes him. I know saying... I know he spawns uh, in 914 if you're standing in there. Like, his chances of spawning are a lot higher. So, I probably just screwed myself over saying that, but whatever. Uh, okay, so that didn't change anything. Okay, so 4.4 actually adds a use for the Black Severed Hand. I didn't know that I didn't have a use for it originally. Um, but now there's a use for it, so... Uh, I guess that's cool, I guess. Alright, 0 for 9, let's do this. Come on. Suck it, suck it, suck it. I just screwed myself over, I screwed myself over. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, I, that was... I'm gonna be resetting the video soon. Why do I keep saying reset? That makes it sound weird. I'm gonna be restarting the video soon, because we're almost to heavy containment. Um... Let's hustle it up a little bit. 
<laughs> what if I just went through heavy, heavy, heavy pocket dimension just for the last little bit just to get the heavy? That'd be dumb. Why would I do that? I don't know why I would do that. Okay, so now we just need to find... Okay. Uh, you can see if it's a fake, yeah, by doing that. So, I'm gonna reset the video here. So... I'm gonna, uh, end the video here, and next video, I'll be on that side. Or I'll go there right now. Um, thanks, Joe, for mine. I'm gonna go over there while the video's off. And then start another the video as I'm over there. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the Heavy Containment Zone video. So, goodbye for now.